In this episode of Cafe Italia TV, we're going to be looking at how you use the Lapavoni EN Lever Press Espresso Maker. So welcome back to Cafe Italia TV. My name's Grant Paul Adams, and this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an easy cappuccino using the brand new Lapavoni EN Lever Press Espresso Maker. Now the very first thing that might strike you as being perhaps a little bit strange or a little bit different to what you might be used to having in your kitchen yourselves is the fact that this is a lever press machine. So this means that rather than necessarily using a huge amount of automatic pressure to make your espresso, you're actually using a lot of your own brawn. So use of this lever will actually push the water straight through the coffee grounds to get your espresso shot. Now my first exposure to one of these machines was actually in Portofino last year. And I remember walking past the shop, seeing its glory in that window and I could not wait to get my hands on a version to try it out. And it really is the most fun you'll ever have making espresso shots at home. So let's have a little tour around the machine to see what we get with our Lapavoni EN. So if we start from the lower side of the machine, we have a small red switch. Now this will toggle the machine on or off. Directly underneath that, we have a green light. Now when the green light is active and it's on, it means that the water is currently heating up. As soon as that light goes out, you know that your water is at the optimum temperature to start brewing your espresso. At the back of the machine, we actually have our boiler unit itself. Now this is gonna hold enough water to brew around eight shots of espresso. How do you tell how much water is in there? Well, this is just to the other side. A small chamber just here will show you how much water you actually have active inside that boiler. Simply undo the screw at the top, pour your water in and then re-screw up and tighten as tight as you can get it with your hands but make sure that you're not doing this while the machine is heating up because you'll get in a little bit of a state. We then have our steam wand. Now this is a very manual process again. We have a small cog on the right hand side here. And in order to get our steam out, we simply twist this to allow the hot steam to go straight through our steam arm. Now, one accessory that you can get for this, and if you really love your cappuccinos, this is probably gonna be money well spent, is the cappuccino automatic. Now this is a small device that you would actually remove this back part of, connect your cappuccino automatic, and place the funnel tube inside your milk. That way, when you turn and twist this handle here, this will actually allow the milk to get sucked through the tube and you'll get the steamed fluffy milk to make your cappuccino. Now, the brew head itself. Generally speaking, when you put your porter filter in, you turn it from left to right but on a Lapavoni, it's back to front. So you would actually put your porter filter in and turn it from right to left to lock it into place. Once you then wanna start brewing your espresso, the first thing that you wanna do is try to ensure that you're gonna infuse the water into those coffee grounds. Now you do this by simply pulling up the handle and just leaving it there until the water starts to go through those grounds. Now, you may be asking yourself, how does the water actually get into that brew chamber first of all? Well, it uses a small piston inside the brew head. And as you lift up the lever, the piston sucks the water into that brew chamber and will allow that pre-infusion to take place. In order to get our espresso shot, we're gonna do a push using all of that pressure straight through the coffee grounds to get our espresso shot. So that's our Lapavoni EN. But how do we get our coffee grounds in order to make that cappuccino? Well, we also need to remember to use our Ranchilio Rocky Grinder. Now remember, this is a step grinder, and if you'd like to see full details on how to use this, please remember to check out our video for the Ranchilio Silvia V6 to see a full step-by-step -step on how you get this to dial in correctly for your cappuccino-based drinks. But remember, as a step grinder, in order to dial in to make sure that the coffee is gonna be perfect to go into our espresso machine, you want to make sure that the grinder is running in order to change the grind density. So, while the machine is running, remember we need to hold down this button here and twist the head so that we either get a finer grind or we get a more coarse grind. The reason we do this is because the grounds need to be moving and the grinder needs to be grinding whilst you're trying to dial that in. So, we have our coffee grounds. 
we have our espresso maker. Let's see how we go about making our cappuccino on our Lapavoni EN and our accompanying Rocky Grinder by Rancilio. Oh good, don't ever have to leave, don't ever have to stay. perfect cappuccino. Great fluffy milk on top, lovely texturized milk running throughout and our perfect espresso shot. All in all an extremely good fun experience but also a delicious cappuccino at the end of it. Why not give it a try? Check out coffeeitalia.co.uk to get your La Pavoni EN and your Ranchilio Rocky Grinder. Until next time, see you again soon.